Now there's a simple experiment you can do at home if you've got refrigerator magnets. So these cheap kind of refrigerator magnets that are made out of a polymer and kind of bendy, usually they've got some kind of advertisement on the other side. I bought these because you can put a business card on them. Now these have magnetic domains that you can feel and I'll actually show them to you uh, in a second here as well. So if you have two of these things, so they both have these kind of black sides, that would be the part you stick against the fridge, for example. Uh, if you stick them together, you'll find that if you try to pull these apart in a certain direction, do you hear that? They kind of vibrate. And what we're feeling is individual stripes. So the way they make these is uh, there's a particular uh, magnetic direction where they have these stripe domains. And each domain in here, uh, one side might be a north side facing you, the camera, and uh, the next stripe down would be a south facing one. And so when we stick these together, we'll have the north of one magnet sticking to the south of the other, of course. But as I pull these apart, when we're to the next stripe over, now we have two south poles facing each other and two north poles, so it's gonna repel. And if I keep pulling, then they're gonna stick again, because uh, I'll be back to north to south and north to south. Uh, so as I pull these apart, we're feeling that kind of vibration. Now, you can also get this special indicator film. I've got some here that I'll show you. Uh, it's got little uh, magnetic, particles embedded in this plastic, little plastic bubbles. And you can actually see those domains. So these little magnetic particles uh, align and kind of create a darker pattern. And I think you can see these stripe domains in there. In fact, if I do this very carefully, we can see that imprinted in there. Now, the reason these stripes are in there is so that the magnet will only stick to the fridge on one side and not the other. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Professor McBorn, you're on crack. I've been playing with magnets, refrigerator magnets my whole life. They stick to fridges. That's it. All right, well, yeah, you're right. You take these magnets, it's gonna stick to a metal cabinet. It doesn't really matter which way I flip this. North pole facing the cabinet, south pole facing the cabinet. In fact, I can even kind of flip it to the side and I can get these things to roll kind of. It's always sticking because the metal sticks to the magnet, magnet sticks to the metal. Big deal, right? All right, we'll take one of these flexible, little flexible fridge magnets. I made one for myself. And what well, helps if I stick? Of course it's gonna stick there, but watch this. I'm gonna blow your mind. Doesn't stick. Stick. No stick. What? Wait a minute. This is always a magnet on each side. It doesn't really matter if it's north or south pole. Here, I would think, okay, if there's a, a north facing side, it doesn't really matter which way it's facing. It could be a bunch of little domains, north pole, south pole, north pole, south pole. I showed you the stripes. We kind of saw, saw it. I'll show you some other experiments you can do to visualize it with iron filings. Uh, that means the other side must be south north, south north. And so the metal should respond to it, but it doesn't. It's not reversible. What's going on here? Well, this is pretty cool. This is something called a Hallbach array. So here, imagine I've got a little uh, drawing of my uh, cross-section view of my fridge magnet, all right? Actually, I'm going to flip it upside down. So this is the side that sticks to the fridge. Okay, now we've got these magnetic domains. And there we go. Uh, viewed from the side, let's say the stripes go this way. So I've got a stripe. We don't know what the stripes are yet. So they kind of go off through the material here. And we're going to look at the end view of what these stripes look like. And all we know is that within these domains, these are like neighborhoods where all the magnetic atoms are in agreement and they're all kind of oriented in the same way. Uh, in a Hallbach array, this is pretty cool. You can imagine a magnetic domain that's pointing this way, meaning on this side, on the right side, that's the South Pole, and on this side, it's the North Pole. 
And then over here, we'll have a downward facing domain, meaning the south pole of this whole stripe is on the top side and the north pole is on the bottom side. So everywhere along here, we're kind of looking at the ends of the arrows pointing downwards, kind of downwards like that. And then everywhere within the stripe, it's pointing to the left. On this one, it's going to point to the right. And on this one, it'll point up. And then we'll repeat. Left, down, right, up. Now what happens here is the magnetic field comes out of a North Pole and it goes to the South Pole. It doesn't necessarily need to be the magnet's own South Pole uh, that it goes to. It can go to another magnet South Pole and it's going to go to the nearest one. So we're going to have a field line that comes out of this North Pole and it's going to go to the nearest South Pole. And look at that, there's all kinds of them over here. So it's going to wrap around like this. And all those field lines are going to go there. There's no South Poles over there, so it's not going to. It's all these fields are going to get kind of bent around. Even the ones coming out this way are going to get bent around and go over here. Okay, so there's lots of field on this side. Well, what about the field going into this one? That would come out of this tip right here, and it's going to go to the nearest south pole. And so if it's kind of going off to the left, it's going to go right there. So all these field lines coming out of this north pole are going to go to this south pole. Likewise, if they're coming off in this direction, they're going to go straight to this south pole. And we'll get the same pattern here. So we've got uh, all these north poles here. They don't. They can't go over here. Instead, they're going to go all the way over here because there's all kinds of south poles there. And so these field lines are going to go that way. And likewise. So lots of field this way. And by this arrangement, this Hallbach array, you can bend more of the field lines on one side of your array than on the other side. You've only got a relatively weak field over here. So this would be kind of going in this way. They get shunted right over. Now, this has practical use not only in fridge magnets where it's a pretty weak magnetic material and so you kind of want to concentrate all your field on one side, the side that's going to stick to your fridge or your metal cabinet or whatever. Uh, and you don't really care if there's a magnetic field on the, the interesting side that's got the information on it. Uh, the same technique though is used at particle accelerators where you want to run a particle past there, let's say, and wiggle it around. Um, has a lot of practical uses in linear motors especially. So there you want to concentrate your field on one side of the array and not on the other.